Hey everyone, welcome to Sketch A Day Live. It is Liquid Friday, where we enjoy beverages and draw. Thank you for your uh, submissions, ideas, requests. Today we are featuring Elijah Craig, Small Batch. Um, I hope that's okay for YouTube. I don't know. Maybe they'll pull my pull my ads or whatever. But we're gonna have fun regardless. Thanks for joining. Thanks for hanging out. Happy Jewish New Year to you too. Make art. Thank you if you're joining on the Instagram. I'm just gonna be focusing on the YouTube chat though. So if you wanna add further comments, feedback, whatever, let me know in the YouTube. Man, what a week it's been. <clears throat> I was surprise attacked by the design community. Got an award for what I do here. And that was that was something uh, special. I've you know I've always tried to do what I love. Um, even if, even when it didn't make sense, <laughs> it really doesn't make sense. I've told you guys about the financials behind everything I do before on the stream. Um, open book, full disclosure. I don't make money doing this. I really don't. So appreciate you being here and hanging out. I do it for the love, not for the gram. Um, hopefully you had a good day. I was emceeing a design conference. The last couple days as well. I don't know where my BFM went, unfortunately. So I have a shoe here today. A special request from one of our patrons, Jordan Null. We're going to talk about the anatomy of a shoe and a little bit about proportion. Okay, so if you're interested in footwear, that's going to be our first sketch. And then we have another request from a patron, Lori Burt. And then I'll take one more request from the chat. So this may be a little bit longer stream if you want to hang out. What's up, Chris? Hey, it's been a minute. I was actually, and I'm not just saying this because you showed up. Um, I've been tutoring some other peeps and you crossed my mind today and I was like, I should reach out to Chris and say, hey, see how he's doing. So I'm really glad to see you here. Um, yeah, it means a lot that you, you checked in. So the universe moves in mysterious ways, I suppose. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to get started with warm ups like we do. Let's, let's bump this music a little bit here. Let's get in the groove on Liquid Friday. Hopefully you have a beverage as well, perhaps, maybe not. I don't know. What you got? What you got? This song is called Revenge of the Little Bird by Basaka. No, Basca T. I've been dabbling in making my own music too, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, hit me up, man. I, I'm sorry I dropped the ball on reaching out, but... Much love to you. Junior, thank you very much. Stefania, thank you. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a crazy week. So if and and the conference I'm talking about is the International Design Inter, or the Industrial Design Society of America International Design Conference. And it was truly international. It was 24 hours of uh, content streamed live all over the world. We had people from all over participating. It was kind of crazy. I did a session yesterday evening, 6 to 10 p.m. my time. Fell asleep around midnight. Woke up at 4.30 a.m. to then jump on at 6 a.m. and get ready to MC some more. So, um, pretty intense session. Sorry, Instagrammers, your camera is going to have to be a little bit off center here. I don't really have a great way to do both cameras. So if you want the full setup, hit up youtube.com slash sketchday.com. Latrice is being responsible with just water. I respect that. Hopefully the t-shirt stream was helpful for you, my man. Um, thanks for the idea. Again, if you guys missed that last time, we did some Adobe Illustrator and some Photoshop looking at how to kind of come up with a t-shirt design in Illustrator. We did that in about an hour. Put it on some t-shirts. I didn't really show you how to send it off, but basically you just save a PNG file. That's what, that's what I usually do. High quality PNG or TIFF file. Um, if they want vectors for each of the colors, it's really easy to do in Illustrator. It all just depends on the process they're using. So um, if you missed that, check it out, youtube.com slash sketchaday.com. I do want to point out something. I just need to switch over here. 
We're not prepared for this. I'm really excited to watch the boys after the stream too. I've um, been waiting for the new episode to drop and it is here. But I wanted to show you something on my YouTube channel. All right. Let's see here. I gotta make it, gotta make it like, like I'm one of you guys showing up to my YouTube channel. All right. So, on the YouTube, for the YouTubers who are watching, I should say, um, and for you Instagrammers, when you check out my channel, I can't put it here. I'll put it in the chat. You know what, I should just do, do the Apple Magic copy and paste here into my phone and I will pin this for you. For your Instagrammers. All right, that's my YouTube. Okay, so if you go there, I made some changes. So now I have past live streams at the very top, okay? And this is kind of my main content now. This is what I do. I'm gonna update the thumbnails with that content. There's Latrice's t-shirt design. We've got the Stegosaurus suggested by Svetlana and Art. We did Sci-Fi Sunday, another Sci-Fi Sunday and so forth. So I'm committing to updating that, making that available to you. I love the live streams because I do get to uh, hang out and answer questions. It just feels, feels good. Play some music, have some beverages, all that good stuff. <laughs> Latrice said, I started watching the first episode. It got me hooked. Yeah, man. Um, that show is certainly intense. All right, so warming up just with some circles here. I don't know if Gebre is watching the stream, but if you are, hit me up, man. I have a treat for you. I've been redoing one of your sketches, so I'm not ready to publish it just yet. But if you are watching, Let me know. All right, just a couple of ellipses here. I mean, we should have tons of people here on a Friday. It's like, where are you going? Right, where are you going? Everything's shut down, locked down, closing early. Are you going clubbing on a Friday? That would be irresponsible. I mean, I respect your right to choose, but I feel like that might be little bit irresponsible if you're supposed to do that all right like I said it's liquid Friday oops forgot to switch back youtubers my bad um, should be back yes should be back now awesome we got a question here in the YouTube chat from pipe or pipe hi Spencer do you think it's better to first sketch on paper or tablet um, I'm a big fan of paper so um, I even did a workshop in the International Design Conference where I showed storyboarding, live storyboarding, using pen and paper, a couple little tricks in terms of arranging your pieces, just roughing it out, not stressing, old school technique. But I do think the more control you have with your real tools, and let me know on YouTube if the audio is okay. I changed my mic position here, um, so I'm not sure if you are picking things up. Um, but if you are, let me know, or if it sounds weird, I can bring the mic in a little bit closer. So, let me know. I'm chill. I'm easy. All right, some more ellipses here. And yes, I do this every day, guys. Every day. So, um, it, it looks frustrating. Like, why am I doing this again? Why are you doing this? But, um... It is certainly beneficial for you. All right, so we got a question from Anjali Baliga. What would your top materials be for any sketch? Um, typically, I use a paper made flare, that's this pen, and just regular paper or marker paper, depending on how I'm feeling and what I'm doing. For this demo, I'm going to use regular paper because we're just going to talk about uh, shoe proportion just a little bit. So I've got these Adidas shoes here. I'm gonna zoom out on the YouTube so you guys can see. So I've got these Adidas shoes and I just wanna talk about it's kind of a proportional breakup and a way to think about um, shoes. It's not perfect and an exact science. I am not an expert, that is my disclaimer, but I feel like I can draw a decent shoe. All right, so, and it takes some practice. 
but we're gonna make some observations here all right and you may have seen me do this before but let's take a look at the shoe for Instagram it's a little bit hard to get the whole thing I'd have to rotate it this way but if you look at the shoe essentially you have thirds and don't worry Lori I'm gonna get to your purse don't worry there's that link like I mentioned for all the stuff I use so if you're curious about pens paper cameras lights all that stuff it's right there okay so there's my shoe oh thank you catfish <laughs> catfish is my friend cat daddy anyhow all right so there's a shoe so looking at this shoe I can essentially deduce certain proportions um, and what I typically do when I'm looking at a design or product what's up fresh cake um, I'll look at the thing and see okay can I split this into a half can I split this into <laughs> I love you catfish um, I'll, I'll split this into a half or split this into a third or quarter whatever proportion I can see or identify so again if you're watching on YouTube it's a little easier to see but I'll just rotate it for you Instagrammers real quick so one two three so there's three kind of segments if I look at the shape of the tooling okay and then from the top um, the way I like to think of it is one ellipse here and another ellipse here. Now you'll notice it's not a straight design, like there's a little bit of curve, okay, for the shape of a foot. Um, I can't speak to all the anatomy, like I said, because I'm not an expert. Um, if you are interested in some education on footwear, check out uh, these Instagrams. Let's see. Let's see if I can pull this up here. Um, Johnny Jensen, someone I went to school with on Instagram. He has pretty awesome sketches. I'm going to post that in the YouTube chat as well if you want to check that out. Um, but he actually goes through kind of a breakdown and anatomy of a shoe if you're curious and interested about that. All right, and all the terminology and everything. So if you want to draw a shoe properly, um, that's a great starting place. So I'll just give you kind of the basics of how I love to break things down jameson says hi spencer love your channel thank you so much normally you can't catch them in australia what time is it in australia right now i'm curious we have an international show people we ain't fooling around we're not fooling around all right <laughs> so there's the shoe uh, so if you think of it as ellipse ellipse right thirds this ellipse coming to about half and this ellipse, mm, let's say being constrained to the third and there's a little bit of transition uh, in between. All right, so what I mean is, and now, and I, I should mention as well, I forgot to mention, one thing we're gonna try and do on the Discord is we are going to be launching a feature where on Fridays, um, we're gonna kind of return to a little bit of Fan Friday mixed with Liquid Friday but i would love to show your attempts at drawing a shoe or whatever it is i cover on this friday next friday we'll review um give you a little bit of critique feedback um, highlight some of the really good ones if that's what you're, you're looking for give you a shout out all that stuff just want to give back to you guys and say thanks for tuning in and watching so jordan is going to be running that on the discord he's our moderator for the server so we're trying to build a community build some excitement around drawing and sketching um it's an oft overlooked skill but super important if you're a designer all right so back to sketch here so if i if i look at the top down view of the shoe right so again here's my shoe and if i start with just that rectangle like i had there okay and i decide this is about half so i'm gonna go half and about a third all right so in this third i'm gonna have some sort of elliptical shape and then i know there's an elliptical shape here but this is also a little bit rotated depending on um which foot it is and then i can just do the transition and then from the side okay we want to introduce depending on the shoe you know some some shoes are zero drop meaning the heel of the shoe is essentially um, actually, I'm going to go a third here, roughly. And this is all just guesstimating, okay? Just guesstimating right here, which is totally fine. Okay, thank you, Pipe. 
All right, so we're gonna have a little bit of kick in the toe, but also, and by kick, I mean right here, or toe spring, it's called actually. Um, another good resource is Directive, I think it's Directive Collective. Directive Collective. Um, that's Richard Kaczynski. We go way back, um, way back in the core 77 product design forums days. Um, Richard is immensely talented, um, draws shoes, but also educates. He's a, an avid runner, so he knows the technical side of footwear. Um, I can show you a couple examples. Again, you know, Instagrammers, you can, you can listen to the links, you can try and follow, but the real magic happens on YouTube. So here we go. I'm going to show you Richard's Instagram and show you a little bit of what I mean here. All right, so this is the Directive Collective, and he's an integrated branding, graphic, packaging, design, footwear, development, and marketing, but super talented. Here's an example. Well, I'm not logged in, but here's an example of him breaking down, for example, the tooling on a shoe. Um, and so, yeah, I actually learned the term toe spring from Richard. Um, it's like you can observe, you can observe these things um in real life but it's not really until you you know really get into the nitty-gritty that you get an appreciation for what all these things are um, and i've designed shoes in the past more at a high level um, but he really gets into the development of a shoe and how to make it work all right fraser says sketch day is replacing my morning cartoons thank you thank you thank you much appreciated you are too kind all right so now Right, so if you look at the shoe here, right, so we're going thin. Um, the toe kick on this shoe is, it's subtle, but it's there. It's really subtle, but it's there. And so in a sketch, oft times in a sketch, we exaggerate things. Um, so now toward the back, I can do something like this, okay? All right, so that's, that's basically what I'm working with. Third, 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 that's rough. Okay, just rough proportion right there. And then on the top here, did I say half? What am I doing? This should be, this should be like this, my bad. So it's about halfway in, and then right here, this ellipse, I do about a third of the way in, okay? And then this is just transition. Okay, so that just means now in perspective, if I were to, and you've seen this demo before, right? You guys have all seen this, this stuff. I'm gonna actually draw this like a wedge, kind of give myself a little little head start here, and let's give ourselves some some toe kick right through here. But just roughly dividing into thirds, like so. Okay, now we have three planes. I can even drop down, connect these like so um, I should mention by the way if you are part of an organization school business whatever I do conduct workshops and I offer individual tutoring as well so if you're interested in that definitely hit me up slots are filling up though man I am mostly booked through September and uh, October so <laughs> if you're interested get on that thank you Fraser all right so now I can just take a look at this top view and I'm just going to focus on the tooling here, and then we can throw another sheet over this and do a little bit more. But if I, if I kind of go halfway, which is about here, and do that ellipse trick, okay, so just kind of approximate an ellipse here, and then another ellipse here, and then do my transition through, like so. It's a very technical way of doing it, but you can kind of see now we have the beginning of the tooling for the shoe. All right, so I'll just add a little bit on the front here like I like to do. Um, I don't even know what that's called, but it's just right here on the shoe, just right there, okay? So I'm just adding a little loop for that right now. It's probably overstated as it is. All right, so then I can drawing the rest like so and you kind of get a sense for oh 
There's the shape and there's the proportion. That's how you do it. Sweet. Sweet. Let's grab some of these some of these cheap cheap markers. I love you, but I don't want to go too crazy. So now, you know, depending on your upper, I'm just going to do something generic. I like to just kind of throw some loops down and these loops really would be represented by you know, it depends on the type of the shoes. So I might have some lines like this, okay? And I'm essentially taking slices through the shoe. Um, just like if you take a loaf of bread and you slice that loaf of bread and you try and represent those slices in perspective, that's what I'm trying to do here. Now I could construct plain Scott Robertson to whom I owe many of my drawing tricks and knowledge, um, right? I'm essentially just sketching these cross sections and you could, if you wanted, figure this all out. You know, even this is a basic way of doing it. Just having these loops and then now I can just connect down like so. I'm going to extend this out and then return back. That's going to be my tongue and then usually I'll come in like so to then form my See, I forgot what that's even called. Ice days? No. And yeah, where the tongue is, laces and so forth. So that's kind of how I like to build out a shoe if I were doing it in a very um, mechanical, thought out way. So Jordan, I don't know if you're watching, but hopefully that helps. I'm not going to take it much further than that. I want you guys to take the challenge this week. Um, I'll post about it in the Discord, maybe a quick screenshot. And um, I want you guys to join the discord server that information is in the youtube post for this episode and again if you miss the episode it should be available first thing you see on the channel i'll post a screenshot of this um and call out the challenge but check it out i'd be happy to highlight your sketch critique give you some feedback all that stuff next week right here on sketch a day all right so let's move on um Lori sent me a picture of a purse. I don't remember who it's by, but I'm going to pull it up here for you. Let's see. Let's let's jump to the jump to the old Discord here. All right. I'm trying to decide which paper I want to use. I have so many paper choices. It's crazy. Um, so once again, welcome. If you want the fuller experience, Instagrammers, my apologies. This is the best I can do with the camera um, under the circumstances. So uh, it is what it is. Anyhow, uh, thanks for joining. Actually, I could probably do one better. I could probably do one better. Let's see if this this helps. Let's see. You might see a little bit of me here. Eh. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to work. I'll have to try it for the next stream. This is getting kind of messy. So I'm going to leave it be. But next time, I promise I'll make some changes. Um, outsole is the front uplifted area. Yeah, I know that's the outsole. Um, I just don't know what the throat or where the tongue and laces would go. I don't know what that's technically called. Maybe I'll dig up a, a diagram and link to that. You know, and as you do your laces, they'll look something like this. You know, I usually like to throw a lace out there. And then, you know, I could have another lace there or something. But, um, and then here, just a little bit of a, more of an S through there. And then we can have our tooling and so forth. If this is an Adidas, Adidas. I had the opportunity to uh, train some designers at Adidas a couple years ago. That was super fun. They flew me all the way from the United States to Germany. So I had that experience and that was super fun. So, oops. Oh, you guys can't see. Never mind. My bad. My bad. All right. I was showing you the purse. Um, this is the purse. Okay. So this is what I'm going to be referencing. I'm going to hit open original. It's going to open that all up. Boom, there it is. Kind of looks like a face a little bit. So I'm going to try and draw this. All right. And 
here's here's what I was drawing guys sorry my bad um, I was just throwing some stripes on the shoes some laces that kind of thing but um, not super complicated but again that's this week's topic or challenge uh, or if you want to do anything else I would be happy to share your um, your sketch if you want to submit something just do it on discord I'll try and uh, pay attention to that All right and then you can do stuff on the the uh, upper here if you wanted design wise I just like simple shoes but so but if you want to do something crazy you can you know figure that out as well all right so that's kind of how <laughs> it looks super messy but that's how I think through the mechanics of drawing a shoe all right so that'll be archived and on the YouTube YouTube all right so here we have this purse um, once again that's what it looks like right there there's another view kind of looks like a person so I'm just gonna focus on I think a perspective view of this and I'm just gonna try and imagine what it looks like so let's just do a quick underlay of this purse I'm gonna do an underlay first just to get the perspective down you know, maybe this maybe this strap is is a little bit down uh, let's see we'll go down like that that's how it would go all right so I got the back strap front strap here uh, we've got these these details on the front so once again when in doubt rough it out you can always figure out details as we go all right so I might do something like this I'll probably have to tweak some proportional things here but um, overall yeah it definitely looks like a face it's like hey guys how's it going what's up I can't tell Lori on this design based on the views that I have hmm oh yeah it does come out just a little bit like this but I cannot tell on the top exactly what's happening so I'm just gonna have to imagine there's a zip on the top or something is that correct let me know if I'm completely wrong or if you want to send me a different view that's also fine looks like we got some feet here as well oh do you guys remember I was doing the custom shades where I sketched them out and 3d modeled and sent them off to Banton frameworks in the United Kingdom, I believe Scotland, to be manufactured. Do you guys remember that? I actually got them in the mail this week. So, I'm trying to decide if I want to record a video or just show them live. I just much prefer the live streams, they're fun. I can react to you guys and draw and hang out. It's almost like we used to do this thing in college called Sketch Lab. And we just hang out and talk and draw. It was super fun. I don't know if I'll throw a background on this, but I'll just do it there for now. A little shadow. Okay, so I'm going to have to move these down, it looks like, to about here. And then we have this little thing on the top. Again, just try to rough this out, just, just because. All right, but that's enough. That's enough that I can at least get started. What's up, Andrea? Call me CRSH on Instagram. Says I missed this job. What job do you miss? Anjali is asking, do you prefer? To draw hard goods or soft goods um, I don't know I don't really have a preference but I, I tend to use um, I tend to use different tools for different things so um, 
a pen lends itself to a certain look, certainly. Okay, and now that I'm getting into the final version of this sketch, and I'm just redrawing it, I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. So the initial sketch was just like, okay, let's rough it out, when in doubt, all of that good stuff, right? And now that I kind of have an idea of the mechanics of what's happening, that's where I can now slow down a little bit, but you'll hopefully notice I'm not tracing this. I'm re-sketching and I'm just being a little bit more light and thoughtful with my stroke. Messed up there, but I'll fix it. So sketch day live, by the way, thanks for joining. I do want to um, point something out here. So if you are doing soft goods with like a pen, like I am, there's a couple of things you can do, right? Oh, hey, Hurion is a designer of outsoles. That's cool. Um, I've done outsoles and tooling before um, and all of that. Thank you, Bautista, much appreciated. 2550 bucks for this purse. It does look like a face. Doesn't look like a face to you guys. It doesn't? Here, here's that purse again. Doesn't that look like a face? It's like, hello, how are you doing today? Do you want some expensive wine? <laughs> oh, it looks totally looks like a face. Um, <laughs> I can't tell what's on the other side here. I'm going to try and just interpret. I know there's like a little, what was I saying? Oh, I was going to show you how to do the lines. So if something's like hard, I might do like a straight line like that. But if it's soft, a lot of times I'll do a line like this. And that's just to imply, you know, if this is the outline, for example, and this is now folding. Okay. In 3D, we essentially have, like if this is a surface, you have a surface like this and a surface like this that are meeting together and where this intersection point happens where you can't see past this edge we have a little bit of an extension of the line so a lot of times I'll do stuff like that um, or sometimes like that if it's a fold right you got to kind of think of the fold itself things like that so as you practice and do folds that kind of thing um, try to try to come up with a Come up with ways to interpret that. I'm trying to remember the Instagram account, but there's a guy, he teaches at Art Center and he does these incredible workshops on clothing. And I am no expert on folds and how fabric drapes and all that, but he's ridiculously good. If I find it, I will definitely share in the Discord. I'm guessing there is something here. I'm just going to fudge this little area because I can't. I can't really see. I don't know, Lori. Maybe you do have one of these. You don't have to answer that question. But uh, I will lean on you for your expertise on this very expensive purse. So when you can, just draw with your shoulder, but if you must, draw with your wrist, and that's okay. It's a tight enough curve or shape. Totally works. I could also have sketched this entirely in marker. That's also a thing um, sometimes I do, but usually that's if I get a commission from someone um, that's you know not just on the stream where I do sell these typically for around 20 bucks, 25 um, on the stream. And some of you have been supportive that way. So thank you. Um, but if I'm doing commissions, usually I'll go a little bit lighter on the lines. And because if you are doing just marker, it's just a lot more work to 
get it the way you want it to be. Um, you can communicate a lot with just a line, so it's just a lot, it's just a little bit easier to do that. All right, so let's get this, let's get this little dude smiling kindly on us here. Very expensive smile, right? And to be clear, I'm not looking at a perspective drawing of this thing. I'm actually looking at an orthographic or dead on view and I'm trying to interpret what it might look like in perspective because frankly I don't know so that's a skill again you can develop over time here's an example of that line that line overlap that I was talking about right there okay just that shape So I'm just gonna carry that through. So now we got a little bit of fold. So you can do you can do folds with um, a pen as well. The other thing I'll do with soft goods sometimes is I'll just be intentionally wiggly with my lines. Um, sometimes you can double your lines like that. You can really do a lot of stuff with your lines. So if you slow down a little bit, um, I think that works. Andrew T is asking, what do you think of the new iPad Air? I think I'm gonna buy one, review it return it just for you guys. I've done that before on the channel. Um, so I think I'll, I'll do a review comparison. You know, is it worth it over something like the iPad Pro watch and you'll find out. All right, so I'm just going to finish this with marker. Let me just make sure I have some of the details and things I need here. This is not entirely precise, but I think it'll do. I think Lori will forgive me for messing up this very expensive purse. I'm definitely gonna have to use some white marker here. Um, definitely. So let's get started. Let's Let's finish this out. <laughs> Lori says, maybe if I was a super successful designer like yourself. Well, thank you. That's very sweet. But no, I will not be buying a purse for 2600 bucks. No way. No way. All right, let's see what Copic Browns we're going to use today. I'm going to set these out. Have a sip. Sip a sip. Yeah, you could get four iPads for that purse, for sure. And then because Lori's cool, I'm gonna use my expensive markers on this one. All right, some pencil, some white pen, and we're probably gonna go over an hour, but that's okay. Um, took care of the took care of the patrons. Thank you again for your continued support and love, all of that good stuff. Um, I know we're in hard times, so it means a lot to me and my family. So thank you very much. Um, but I am also open to suggestions from you guys. So if you have ideas, things you want to see drawn, let me know. This color is actually called leather. Maybe I should use that one. I'm going to do a quick color test here. And whenever I shade something in in marker, I always do just a quick test just to see. All right, that one actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to use deep orange. This is E97. Here's a little trick with Copic markers. Pay attention. Little trick. I have found this to be 100% true. Uh, let's see. Can you guys focus on that a little bit? There we go. So this is an E97, E99 right there. All right. So on a Copic marker, if the first number is the same, okay, if the first number is the same, you're in the same hue. And that's important. All right. If you're trying to get a nice consistent look, you're in the same hue. If you want a value change, pay attention to the second number. Okay, so seven, nine is more than seven, so nine is darker. I don't even have to like think about it. Boom, there we go, it's darker, same color family. If I had a 95, I don't know if I do have a 95 for E. I'm trying to increase my marker collection, um, or I have been recently, so bear with me. 
Oh, I should mention on the stream, if you're watching on the, the YouTube right there, there's that Liquid Friday sticker. That's actually going to be a real sticker. So it's going to be available soon. I'm going to do some giveaways, all that good stuff. Uh, Vulcan says, I'm watching you from Turkey. I've been already following you for five years and I've learned so much things. Thank you so much. Hello, Eric Pru. What's up? All right. So I'm going to start with these two markers. Um, and then if you want to skip around in the hues, you can, but this is a different hue and you can tell there's a little bit more red. And this one, even if it's darker, but sometimes that's okay. It just depends on what you're shading, how you're shading. Um, 35 and 39 are related. So I think I can make it work with these four, All right? right. Um, so I'm gonna put 35 and 39 to the side. Let's start with our deep orange here. And I'm gonna go ahead and shade the parts of this that are brown. And since it's leather, I'm not going to be super precise in my shading, right? So I'm going to actually scrub the paper a little bit with the marker as I shade. All right, just to give it a little bit of texture here. I got to make sure I'm putting color in the right spots. I am going to assume my light source is coming from the top right. Okay. I'm going to assume it's coming from the top right. So, sure, Lori, happy to facilitate that if you want to claim it. Uh, maybe I'll just send it to you as a thank you because you're awesome. So, um, and I do appreciate the support. So, I'll just send it to you this time. No worries. All right. Um, so, I'm just going to fill this in. And again, I don't really know what's happening on the top. So, I'm just going to kind of guess. But let's get our base colors in here. Just like that. Get the strap in. Get the strap. That's a hip hop term. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so shade that in just like that. Boom. So I got my brown sections. This proportion is actually a little bit off, but don't tell anyone, okay? I'll be our little secret. Oh, and the zipper. Ooh, maybe I'll use real. I got this new gold marker. Um, so maybe I'll try that on the bag itself. All right, cool. So I don't know, again, I don't know exactly what the top looks like. I'm just going to use my best guess here. It looks like this is actually a pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this and then come down. And Lori, maybe I'm wrong, um, but we'll just say it's a, a, a concept sketch of the bag and maybe it's an alternate version. But this portion is now green. So I've got my my super nice Copic markers. Um, Ross is asking on the Instagram, do I always start light to dark? Yes. You wanna work light? What guys, light until? That's right. Why can't I find my stickers? Light until you get it right. That's what you wanna do. I was trying to find a sticker to just plop down here. Um, but yes, light until you get it right. Oh, what's up, Gebre? I was gonna tell you, I am working on redoing your SUV. I don't know if you want it to be a surprise or not, but I have it right here. All right, so I've been working on, working on redoing uh, this sketch for my man, Gebre. Here's his original. Let's move this to the top. Hope this is okay to show. My mine, my mine. All right, so there's the there's the original. I made some changes, a lot of changes to the proportion, but um, there you go. All right, so I'll send this a little bit later. Post it up on the Instagram. Pipe is asking, have you ever thought about doing a series of reviewing subscriber sketches? Yes, I accept um, sketches for submissions. I'm trying to turn Fridays into Fan Friday, Liquid slash Fan Friday. So. That's the thing I'm trying to do. Let's see, we got YG 9799. Do I have a 95? I do have a 95. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So I got a 95. You know what, guys? If you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. That's, that's my take on life. There's always something to be happy about. Stay positive, my friends. 
Boom. So these three work really well together. There's the 95, 97, 99. All right. So all you have to do, at least with the Copic markers, this is why sometimes the saying, buy it nice or buy it twice, makes sense. All right. Okay, but I do want I do want some nice contrast. Fortunately, I have a 93 as well. Let's see, 90. I've got 93, 95, 97, and 99. So I am fully stacked when it comes to these greens. Not worried at all. All right, so I'm going to start with the lightest here. Paying attention to and thinking about shadow core. What I mean by that, what I mean by that is here, this has a round profile. So even as I shade, scrub this in, whatever, I'm trying to keep the darks right there. What's up, T Chang? If you guys haven't checked out Crave, be sure to check that out. As long as you're over 18 people. T Chang is a pioneer and all around creative in the field of sexual well being. So if you're curious, check her out on the Instagram. Shout out to you and your awesome work. Keep it up, keep it going. All right, so I'm just gonna keep scrubbing here. Like so. Once again, this is Sketch Day, Liquid Friday, Fan Friday. Taking some requests from you guys, yeah, animals. Uh, like I said, I don't know what the inside here looks like. Is it is it just open? If it's open, I can just go dark on the inside. Tell me uh, what you think it is on the inside, please, Lori, and I will happily facilitate the process. All right, let's go to our 95 now, and I'm just gonna start to add in some shade and texture. And the shading is not perfect because I do want that texture to kind of come through on this this fabric. It's not perfect, like I'm not going in there and like going line by line. I could do that, but it, it, it's kind of boring if I do that. So um, I want to keep it fresh, all right? Do I ever pencil in the highlight shadow or do I just go? I just go on the fly usually. I used to pencil in when I was younger, younger designer. Um, and then I just decided, you know what, YOLO, life short. Why pencil in when you can just jump right in, make it happen. I'm almost out of my Elijah Craig, guys. We're going into overtime. Uh, Vulcan says, hey, brother, what you doing nowadays? I'm drawing, like I always have been. Where have you been, Vulcan? Don't be sassing me. Sassy right back. What's up? All right, so I'm just gonna keep working this texture. I think I'm having way too much fun, but as always, thank you for the suggestions and the topics. Super fun. So here's an example of, you know, if this purse has some sort of curve or it's facing the light, I might leave this section a little lighter and just kind of do some blending through there and then through here, maybe go a little bit darker. Something like that. Not really worried about that. That's an easy fix. The other lesson I have for you in life, life lesson if you will, most times, because there are exceptions, like in death, there's always a fix. If you tell yourself that, it can help you really lower your tension, ease the pressure, and make it so you can just have fun. There's always a fix. Sometimes the fix means starting over, but there's always a fix, okay? There is always a fix. This is Catch Day Live. Thanks again for joining on this Friday. I know you guys could be doing all sorts of stuff. You could be Netflix and chilling. You could be you could be swiping on the Tinder. You know, there's a lot of stuff you could be doing. I get it. So Appreciate you being here, <laughs> being part of the stream. If you want to support, being here is 
one of the best things to do, of course, but let's, if you want to go above and beyond, peep the links in the video. I've got Patreon, I've got Instagram. You can follow me there. I know some of you are watching on Instagram, which is totally cool. Patreon's a great way. I did post the links. Did I pin those? I don't think I pinned those. Oh yeah, I did pin those in the YouTube chat. Um, links to my materials. It's also a great way to support. So thank you very much. It's been a long journey. Like I said earlier, this week's been a little bit crazy in terms of just things happening. Good things happening, not bad things. Good things happening. Last week was like... I have not been that stressed probably since I went through a divorce. Like last week was just stressful as <laughs> all get out. We had this crazy windstorm and I was losing power and I had to get my trees trimmed and I was preparing for this conference and preparing for Adobe Max and there's parenting stuff to deal with and ugh, it was insane. Absolutely insane. So appreciate your patience. All right, so let's jump to the 99. On this yellow green. I still haven't gotten an answer from Lori on the inside here, so I might just go green on the side. Because worst case, we can still go dark. So there's a start. And then I'm just gonna keep working this, making sure we get some contrast. Now, since this is away from our light source, it's gonna be in shadow, so I can do that a little bit darker. And yes, it may seem weird. It's like, oh, well, you, you put that light marker down and now it's gone. Well, if I start with the dark marker, and I wasn't sure that I wanted to go that dark, it's really hard to fix. It's easier with markers to go darker than it is to try and go lighter. So that's why I do it that way, guys. In case you're wondering, what's he doing? That's why I do it that way. All right, let's keep that a little bit light there in the middle. Uh, let's see. All right, no more comments. We're good. We're good. We're good. Thank you for liking the stream. Be sure to subscribe, by the way. Uh, okay, Lori hasn't given me an answer, so I think I'm just going to go with... Uh, what would I do if I were a fashion designer? I think I would go with brown in the middle um, just to keep that consistency. So I'm going to roll with that. So deep orange, I think, is what we were using. All right, so just something like that. You know, if I want to cast a shadow from this strap, I can just kind of scrub that in over the initial. So these, the strap is casting a shadow on the whole thing right there. Lori said she wants to pick this one up though. So I'm gonna spend a little bit more time than I normally would, but I'll still take a suggestion. So if you guys have any suggestions for the last sketch, happy to do that. Um, we're just touching on about an hour, so I'll keep it somewhat tight, maybe an hour and a half or less, depending on what topic you pick, but feel free to drop some suggestions in the chat, what you'd like to see. And don't worry, if, if I don't cover your suggestion, chances are I already have your suggestion done as a video on my YouTube channel. You can always 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 check it out all right let's pick a different brown I'm gonna use something a little bit darker because I need some nice contrast this is an e77 I need something darker I've got a 79 or 99 let's try the 79 so yeah I just need you can kind of see it on the strap there now it's starting to feel more round right and I I like to just take the brush tip and just kind of hit sometimes these areas. There's a little bit of shadowing happening right through there. And that's just going to help help this feel more 3D. Okay, even just under on that strap on the far side here.
now let's get this little zipper. I'm not worried about the teeth on the zipper because I can use white and I can use gold to kind of help pull that out. So not a big deal there, guys. And again, if you just work the light until you get it right, chances are you'll be able to fix most of your problems. So sketch a day live. Thanks again. Uh, what's the name of this purse again, uh, Lori? I forget. Feel free to drop that in the chat. Apparently, it's really expensive—a twenty-five hundred dollar purse or so. Gabri, I don't do weapons on the stream. That's a personal policy of mine, so I'm not gonna do that. But um, I don't know if you guys follow Hudson Rio. If you want to see a weapon, he did one recently on his Instagram, so check him out, Hudson Rio Design. I did a I did a weapons project for someone once as a designer, and after that it just didn't sit well with me, so I try not to, where possible, draw guns or weapons. Um, I'll do sci-fi weapons, because it's make-believe. <laughs> But even then, I tr still try not to. Um, and that's just my my personal thing. So it is what it is. OK, I can't find my BFM, and I'm deeply troubled. Where did I put that? I had it yesterday on my, my stream. But I have no idea where I put it. So um, in the meantime, I am going to need some of these white pens anyways. So I'll grab a couple of those. Yeah, no clue where that went. Catch today live. Thanks for joining. Oh, I found it. Boom, the big fat marker right there. So I can use this one. For my shadow. There's just something, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just a mental thing or the way it finishes on the paper, but I do love this marker. But yeah, Gabriel, I will uh, I'll post your sketch a little bit later when I finish it up, all right? All right, so now I got a shadow in there. I've got this gold pen, brush pen. See how we do here. How we do. Zipper. Uh, what else is gold on this bag? I don't know. Should we just make something up? This isn't even my favorite gold. It's a little bit greenish gold. So I'm going to have to add some white to it to make it pop. I mean, it's gold. It's just not like as poppy as I would like it to be. This is a, I think it's a Kuratake. Yeah, care, or no, it's a Zig, Wink of Luna gold brush. That's what that is. But fortunately I have this white pen. And if I wanna add some highlights, works pretty well. Gonna sketch that in like a zipper, let that dry. Continue to add some contrast. Why is my YouTube chat frozen? Are you guys not chatting? What's happening? What's happening? What's going on? All 
All right, there we go. There we go. Aha! The chat was frozen. My bad. The chat was frozen. Okay. Uh, jock straps. Um, let's see. We got no strap means a gun. Yep. How do you sketch carbon fiber? Green or blue greens? Just greens. They are yellow greens. It's a YG 93, 95, 97. Will there be any gerbils on the stream? You know what, Mecha Art, if you tune in Sunday, I will do a gerbil in a mech. How about that? If you remind me, I'll do a gerbil in a mech. Um, so come back Sunday, let me know. It's going to be in the afternoon on Sunday. I'm going camping in the mountains for a bit. So I will be back later that day. Probably around two is my guess. To my time, so that would be 1 p.m. Pacific, something like that. But again, as always, thank you for the suggestions. Okay, we got a request for a Ferrari. Um, it's a micro luggage handbag. Okay, cool. How did I come across this sketching style I enjoyed? You know. It all started when I literally started the first day of industrial design. I'll never forget that day. I knew exactly what I was wearing. I was wearing my favorite pair of navy blue pants and some funky Adidas shoes at the time. And I was walking myself to class and I met my future business partner, John Mullenkamp, who actually works at GoPro now. He's a senior designer there. Um, I remember walking into class and I remember sitting there and my professor, broke out his sketchbook and I actually uh, got in touch with him this week, gave him, gave him some thanks for uh, teaching me all the things that I needed to be the sketcher I am today. Um, but I remember him breaking out his sketchbook and I was just thinking, wow, this is so freaking cool. I wanna be like him. And so I decided to just practice my ass off and work as hard as possible. All right, and that's how I kind of settle on a style. I mean, I I found Scott Robertson. There was a Noman Workshop at the time. was a like an online design school. There was product design forums, and I, I just liked the style, so I just kind of stuck with it. Carl Lou was an inspiration. Uh, my time at Astro Studios was an inspiration as well. So. Okay, the stitches on this bag aren't exactly black, but I'm gonna do them black so they show up. Um, but yeah, it was just a matter of like experimentation, trying stuff, figuring out what I liked really. And then once I found that, you know, and it's a combination of, okay, what communicates the idea? What's fast and easy to do? Right? I, I don't typically like, to, you might think this is a long time, but I'm actually drawing and talking, which tends to double the time you spend on a sketch, I found. Um, but I, I like to just do quick sketches. I don't like to sit there for hours and hours and do the same sketch. So that's kind of my, my thing, personally. Anyhow, so that's that, that was kind of my first introduction to a certain style and it just kind of evolved over time and like now I take influences from a lot of different people, sources, things like that. I mean, and you kind of figure out things that work. Here's some style dots that you might add to a, a sketch, for example, to kind of help out. Um, who said, do you know how to do carbon fiber? <laughs> Real designers don't do carbon fiber. Eh, yeah, I mean, I get, it, there's there's some cool uses of carbon fiber, typically on kit cars. Um, let's see, William says, I wanna see that. The gerbil, gerbil, okay, Bautista, thank you. Much appreciated, much love to you. All right, I think I'm pretty much done with this one. So Lori, hopefully this has been helpful for you. Thanks again for being a patron supporting what I do here it means a lot I can't say that enough so I'm just gonna keep saying it to all of you who uh, contribute and help out much love shout outs to you I know Svetlana and Art are here as well usually they have great suggestions as well all right so we did have a request for a Ferrari what's up Alex how you doing welcome we just did this purse it's very expensive apparently 
I was not aware of this. Um, I probably should do... I'll do some leather marks. I'll do just a couple leather marks here. Um, and I'll, I'll send you this sketch, Lori. I'll just need to find your address again. But don't worry about it. I got you. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find a brown pencil. I need a better pencil organization system. That's what I need. Well, I'll just use black. It's fine. But I just wanted to add a couple... I just want to add a couple things here. A couple little leather, like almost crease marks or texture marks. Oh, I'm going to enhance these shadows. Contrast is your friend. For sure. So yeah, there are, um, if, you, if you like sketches that look like paintings. There are people online that do that. Uh, I'm not one of them. All right. I'm all about relatively quick. Relatively dirty. Dirty, dirty. All right. Let's go ahead and sign this. Someone wanted a Ferrari. I don't usually sketch Ferraris. So I'm going to set this aside for Lori, but just so you know, I will be providing a high resolution scan of this to patrons as well. So if you are a patron, that's patreon.com slash sketch day, you'll get the high resolution scan of this sketch for sure. All right, so like I said, I don't usually do Ferraris, so I'm just gonna take a quick look at Ferrari. I'm just gonna take a quick look at, you know, what does a Ferrari look like? I have no idea, like I'm not even that much into cars so i just want to pick some style cues looks like a typical supercar you've got some intake on the back here mid-engine um okay the light style i can pull from four tail pipes four tail lights gullwing doors which i'm not going to do the gullwing doors but i think i can figure something out all right i think i can i think i can do something oops i think i can do something with this so since I'm already hot, so to speak, warm, I'm just gonna go for it without even sketching the frame or the, the wheels here. I'm just gonna freaking go for it and we'll keep this somewhat loose. And now I can just throw the wheels on. Except that wheel feels kind of misplaced. So I'm going to pull that up. I don't know, I could do it in that perspective. That's one. Or I could do perspective more like, more like this. You know, where we've got the cab here yeah that feels kind of cool maybe more of a perspective like this let's see just keep it super loose Uh, Gebre is asking a question here. I'll get to that in just a sec. I guess I will do an overlay after all. 
Do I have a video on how to do high resolution scans of marker renderings? Um, I do have a resolution on how to scan, or sorry, a video on how to scan and clean up a sketch. Have I seen the Duluth Trading Company catalog? It looks like all the products are sketched by an industrial designer. Um, I haven't seen that, Lori, but I'll have to check it out. Oh, you want a car interior, Vulcan? Hmm. Well, I already started the exterior, so I'm going to keep going down this path in life here. But perhaps next time, remind me. I do have um, many videos on, on the channel that do look at interiors. So you can check those out. They usually have, they don't usually have uh, fins, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just kind of be somewhat delicate here. The sketch feels a little like um, a sketch that Sang Wong Seok would do. Maybe that's presumptuous of me, but I'm trying to keep it somewhat light here. Maybe lean into this being more of a marker sketch than a pen sketch. All right, how do these grills look? Can't really tell. Looks like they've got some other thing on the inside here. something like this there's an example of me outlining a highlight all right so there we go um, for the Instagrammers I have to move this over a little bit so you can see boom there we go um, so now I'm gonna get rid of that underlay and we're just gonna marker it up we're just gonna have some fun Ferraris usually are red so let's let's go for it well not usually red but you know what I mean Iconically speaking. Uh, let's see, should we do some sort of intake on the side? Maybe just a little line there. I'll change the angle of that line right through there. This on the inside. Increase that, that line weight. Like so. All right, so maybe something like that. Uh, Gary says, I'm so lazy, I never do underlays. I just tried hard to get in one, go zero patience. Yeah, I mean, more practice, you get it. Um, Vulcan says, I don't know, but Americans and Asian sketch techniques are the most different from each other. <laughs> I don't know either. I, I don't know if mine is American. I mean, I am technically an American, but I'm Jamaican, so I... Uh, Maybe mine's a Jamaican technique. I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me. All right, so Instagrammers, this might be rough. It says there's only like two people watching, so I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna hang out with you guys anymore. Um, Cami, so the Google Drive, I changed it. Um, there is a link to the older sketches, which you, you have access to, but the new sketches are only available to the patrons. Um, I always post a picture, like a photo of what I did that day. On Instagram, but if you want the high resolution stuff, you gotta be a patron. I know. probably like oh man really I gotta be a patron I'm like yeah you gotta be a patron mamas
Should we have some fun while we're at it? Have some spray paint fun. Uh, let's see. Let's do it. This should be interesting. All right, so just laying down a base tone there with my marker and my spray paint thingamajigga. So yeah, Cami, you want to be a patron if you want access to all the all the good stuff. All right. I think this can is running out of air. Actually, maybe it's not. No, it is running out of air. Okay. This is, this is where it's like, okay, it's time to buy a, um, time to buy a compressor. Is there a day when I don't sketch a day? Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes I don't if I'm like super depressed, <laughs> for example. But yeah, for the most part, I do try and sketch every day. All right, so I'm just trying to get some base tone down here. I'm gonna switch to a darker marker now. And I'm not worried about the colors like getting all over or whatever because I've got my trusty friend here, the big fat marker. That's gonna take care of all those little goobers and whatnot. So I've got a red 39 ah, and a red 59. Unfortunately, there's no red 6-9, because 6-9 is a rat. Just kidding. Some of you will get that reference. Some of you won't. So at this point, I'm going to switch over to just pure marker now. All right. This is a pit pastel, or not a pit pastel, a pit artist pen. what I'm using here. So most of the work here is pretty much done. I just have to black in some spots, right? And if my, if my light source is coming from this direction, you know, I may have some additional lighting off to the side, but some of this stuff I can just black in like this. Clearly, I don't work for Ferrari. Clearly. Um, let's see. Car Tape says, I never tried drawing this perspective because I'm not sure how foreshortening works. Yeah. Um, oh, Chris says, oh, did you, were you on IDC, Chris? Or do you mean like in our sessions? 
Were you watching the International Design Conference? I did bust it out the other day. Yesterday. In one of these sessions that I did. I did a little workshop on storytelling. Like how to tell the story of a product. So I don't know if that's what you are referring to. All right, so now I can jump back to the markers, right? So like my wheel flares are gonna be kind of flat in tone, like so. If I need to get some reflections in here. So this front piece, I want to be gray, um, and obviously it's red right now. So let's just throw, I don't even care what gray this is. I'm just gonna, this is a green gray. It looks like green gray, not to be confused with Jean Gray of the X-Men. I'll just throw that in. have these like vents on the back right so I'm gonna try and throw that in right there and then as far as like a background or something goes I'll fill that in Oh, you're gonna register and then you saw the price. I did. Um, I did mention I could have gotten you a discount, so you should have hit me up. But it's all right. I'm not sure if it's gonna be available, but I know they're um, they're gonna publish the sessions as videos. I just don't know if it's. I don't know if it's gonna be available to everyone or just um, those who happen to attend the conference. So yeah, with markers, just have fun. I mean, if you have to start over, it's all good. Rotate your canvas. Figure out what works for you. Um, Danny. I don't know his last name, but Danny C on Instagram is another good resource if you're really into this stuff. Um, he's really good at marker rendering with light. Like, way better than I am. Because that's what he does for a living. I just pretend. I do want to get a little bit darker on a couple spots here. Um, so I'm going to start with just this light pink. I got some of that black in there, but it's all right. Not too worried. Like I said, there's always a fix. really deep reds it turns out so I'm gonna have to invest in some like really deep reds or 
see if I can uh, see if I can get what I want with some some violet here. Yeah, like I want this to be like my horizon right through there. And then I want this to be sky, but I need it to be deeper. So let me see if I can cheat a little bit with this violet. I may very well mess up my sketch. Actually, that, that looks pretty good. Yeah, the violet looks kind of cool right there. So I'll just keep that. And just for purposes of color consistency, I'll just use in a couple other spots. All right, so now take the big fat marker. Thanks for hanging out, Chris. I wasn't sure if you're still here. Much love to you guys once again. Thanks for the support. Much appreciated. I don't remember where my nice white markers went, so. We'll improvise here a little bit. The truth is 99% of the time I'm like a, I'm a train wreck, okay? This is the absolute truth. I don't know what's happening, so. There you go. I'm glad you guys like my sketches much appreciated um, certainly not perfect but point is keep your pen moving keep drawing don't get discouraged keep trying be expressive make mistakes have fun all of that right just have fun with what you're doing so Appreciate it. Much love to you all. I mean that sincerely. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you, Svetlana. It's probably super late where you are. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. Much love to you. Okay, let's do a quick recap of what I did today. So we did this car. Also did this purse. This is heading out to one of our super fans, Lori. Much appreciated, much love to you. And we also talked a little bit about the mechanics of a shoe, how that goes together. Um, talked about proportion. Use this as an example to kind of uh, highlight all of that for you guys. So. Hope you learned something. Hope you're at least motivated to try something. Jameson's asking, how long till I receive my book or release my book? Um, I'm, I'm committing to before the end of the year, so it will happen. Um, I just can't say when, <laughs> because I don't want to shoot myself in the foot, so to speak, and uh, have you guys going, where's the book? When that day comes, or if that day comes, not if, but when that day comes, if I were to say, Oh yeah, for sure it's on this day, but definitely, definitely before the end of the year. So look out for that. I am motivated to do that. My next big project is actually going to be building an outdoor studio at my house. Um, I'm kind of cramped in this space. Okay, it's a little noisy. It's hard to control my environment. So I'm going to be building an outdoor studio on my property. And I'll, I'll share updates with you guys, specifically the patrons. I will be giving you updates, letting you know how that goes. So watch out for that. 
updates will be coming. Pipe, yes, it's a book. Um, it's more of a how I draw book than it will be a how to draw book. So I'm gonna just say, here's all the stuff I've learned, observed, um, yeah, over the years. I don't have any other way to, to really put it, but here's all the stuff I've learned over the years. And I want to give that to you. Sorry, I was looking for my Elijah Craig here. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Friday. And I hope you guys do as well. Thanks for hanging. We had tons of people watching. Be sure to subscribe, turn on alerts, say hi. Um, tell your friends, your kids, your mama, your wife, everybody about Sketch a Day uh, if they like drawing. And to you, I would say just do a little bit every day because you're going to get that much better. Okay, just a little bit every day. Thanks for the suggestions. Thanks for being the best fans. Um, Say hi on Instagram, Facebook, wherever you are. But if you want access to the sketches in high resolution, become a patron. Patreon.com slash sketch today. You do get a sticker if you sign up. So be sure to do that. Much love to you again. And with that, have a happy and blessed Friday. I'll see you maybe tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure. But definitely Sunday right here on Sketch Day. Peace and love.